What's up guys? Um, here's a little tutorial about how to load the game and kind of manipulate the files. Um, this is for anyone who would like to try um, to brute force the x64 and see if we can get a, an answer. Um, so first thing you want to do is open x64 dbg. So we have this open here and then you want to do cheat engine. I'll post the download links in the description um, along with uh, some resources. Um, so we have these two here um, and then I'm going to use, well I have my notes. So I'll post this in the description as well. But you copy this thing down here. This is the hex byte. So we'll copy that and then I go here and I open. And this is the dark and darker playtest folder. Now I'm going to have to post this dungeon patch for download as well. You also see that in the description. Um, and then you inject it into this folder here. So this is the f this is the one you'll download, Dark and Darker Playtest, which is Playtest 3. And then you go to Dungeon Crawler Binaries Windows 64 and then just put it, drop it right in here. Uh, I'm not sure if it matters where it is, but this is where I have mine. Um, so I click that, load it with x64, and then you have this arrow, which is kind of like frame advance. So you just click it, click it a bunch of times, till it loads, until you see this. Now you don't touch anything here. You go here, click dungeon patch, open, and then you click value type, array of byte, and then make, make sure writable is filled in. And then you paste that thing that I got from the notepad. And there, I hit first scan, I right click this and I hit disassemble this memory region. And I click that and then I double click this at the top and then I switch the J and E to J E. Oh, now I go here and this gives me access to the dev menu or the uh, login menu. Um, there's a few of them, if you guys want to fuck around with this by all means go ahead. Um, but what I do is I do the dev.irma 777 which is a local server. And then you can type in with anything, so let's do admin admin, log in, and that's how I get here. Uh, so the next part's a little tricky because I already have my breakpoints set for this, but essentially, um, give you a little quick rundown. These like dots are called breakpoints. Um, so right now I have it set to, you can copy the address and set a breakpoint for it if you'd like. But when I hit start, it's going to hit one of my breakpoints here. This one's unnecessary, but I had this for testing. But if you want to, um, if you want to set a breakpoint here, you know, more than welcome to give it a shot. Um, I have mine set here. Um, and then I'll hit frame advance again, loads this thing. And uh, this is the important breakpoint that I've been working on. So when I press yes. I get another breakpoint um, here. So I see a CMP EDX2. Not too sure what this is, but this J and E is a jump. Now this J and E here, you can see the line. So I have a breakpoint set, but I have a line. So it's supposed to jump here. And then we have this, it's a retrieve function, I think it is, but this is the thing inside of it and what it's calling to. So I'm kind of just trying to mess with this here. Um, I'm trying to get someone uh, to on Fiverr to maybe to explain this to us more. Um, but yeah, so jump here and then uh, you can manipulate so you can change the J and E to like a a J E or you can mess with this. You might be able to change this value too. I haven't touched too much on that. Um, but you can mess with it. Press OK, exit out, frame advance, and kind of see what happens. So it just went back here. So this is kind of a quick tutorial about how you you know, mess with this. X64 is not for the weak. Um, but that's kind of what I've been doing. Um, and that's the brief tutorial on how to do it. The dungeon patch file itself skips the Steam check. And yeah, I don't expect anyone to want to try to do this. But if you are, DM me personally. Once you have a grasp and you're able to log in and do all this stuff, um, I did make another Discord for people who want to try to progress further in this um, but just DM me that um, you know you've gotten this far you're able to load whatever um, I'll have all the resources in the description to do so um, I'll be willing to answer any questions um, I figured you know let's all try hand at this this is something anyone can do so um, yeah 
and you know if you have experience with this uh, the better um, but yeah that's pretty much it um, that's the tutorial uh, DM me if you guys need any help with it and uh, yeah download everything in the description I have the full playtest 3 file in there and uh, yeah let's uh, let's do this boys I'll see you guys soon